An alarming trend that's getting a lot of chatter on social media. Someone using a smartphone app to send dozens of explicit photos to hundreds of users, and it appears to center on Penn State students. Lauren Hensley has more on a story that every parent should hear. Lauren? Well, Marty, this isn't the first time the application Snapchat has been in the spotlight. Now, how you use the app, you send a photo, and within seconds, that photo disappears. But it's how a couple of users are now using the app that's pretty shocking. It's an app that's been getting a lot of attention on social media, particularly from Penn State students. Peers are encouraging Snapchat users to friend a profile that suggests it features female Penn State students. Once the request is accepted, users have access to view user-generated content that's mostly young women bearing it all for the camera. As I was doing my research for this story, we found dozens of images that were simply too graphic to put on TV. Where are these photos coming from and who is distributing them? We wanted to ask these questions to Snapchat, but our calls and emails went unreturned. According to the Center County District Attorney, these photos can be particularly problematic if a person in the image is younger than 18. If there's any nudity on those pictures, I think people just need to be careful that the subject is not a minor and if they're um, over the age of 18, people just need to be careful that they're not putting pictures out that will live forever. With more questions than answers surrounding these extremely graphic images, experts advise to avoid exchanging images when it isn't clear who is on the other side. Well, people need to remember that nothing is ever private no matter what they promise and that things like nudity um, are very dangerous to everybody and I think people should think twice before they do it. Um, be very careful and know who you're talking to and receiving pictures from because it can get you in trouble. Now we did reach out to Snapchat several times and both our phone calls and emails went unanswered. Reporting live in the Center County Newsroom, Lauren Hensley, 6 News.